Hi guys, it's John O'Kuffle here and I'm reacting to South Africa versus New Zealand from this year's Rugby Championship. They will both be playing each other in their final World Cup warm-up game next year. It's going to be played in Twickenham. The game is taking place on Friday the 25th of August 2023 and tickets are available on England Rugby and on Ticketmaster. And away we go. Execution to perfection. The All Blacks lay down the challenge. Desperation dive. Oh, Addy Sapphire. Here we go, got the All Blacks doing a hacker again, standard. But st stern face South Africans, very stern face. Sometimes I feel like this gives New Zealand such a mental edge at the start of games. Imagine get, you've got an like RD surveyor just like staring you down for 60 seconds before a game. Like, it made your heart race. Now the All Blacks have gained in possession. Here's the cross kick, beautifully done. For Sabia with his pace. Got Gets on the outside. Oh, Adi Sabia! Strong hand off. Nah. Just couldn't you know something about Adi Sabia right now for me? You know, there's, you know, there's so much talk about Irish players, but in my mind, I think Adi Sabia is you know, top three player in the world. Big fan of Adi right now, man. Big, big fan of Adi Sabia. South Africa in the mall. Standard. This is, this is what you're seeing here is attritional rugby from South Africa right now. You just know what's coming. At the moment they're 40 meters out, like, look at, look at this mall. What's that, 20 meters they've just made there? Like, you just know every time you're going to face South Africa, they, they're going to bring this. And they've got a free ball as well. So, they, I think right now they're one of the best, for, they're probably the best forward pack in world rugby. Smith slips a lovely pass. Clark in the clear. Now, where's the support? Clear, go on, let's pause that right there. Let's take that right back. For all the young fans right now who are watching, let me use this as a coaching moment. So what you've got here, you've got, you, you see the gap. See, on the left of the ruck, there's a massive gap. There's no guard, as they like to call it. So two here, the hooker, he's bit in. Caleb Carr's come on the short line. So Caleb Carr is basically just running into open space. And he's probably one of the best wingers in the world right now. So there's no, there's no way that he's ever going to make that covering tackle. And when you give... The All Blacks, this much space, they're going to hurt you. It's a shame that he's been shot by a sniper at halfway, but um, if he keeps his feet there, they're, they're leaving with seven points. Still only a couple of meters short. Right. Oh, I remember this out. This is what Etzebeth, what you're about to see is Etzebeth manhandle. Our, let, me, let me pause this out. See, Etzebeth, right, and I, and, I, and I see this debate, Maro or Etzebeth, and I'm an English fan. I'm going to tell you this right now. Etzebeth is the number one second row in the world. Aaron Smith, boy, a try here. Would be what the doctor ordered. Over the top they go. Oh, Savia held up. You, you'd, bet your, you'd bet your house that Savia scores right there. And, yeah. You just, Etzebeth just, just says, you shall not pass. That's not even anything other than brute strength. There isn't, like, tackle technique. That's just... A man just turning another man into a boy. So um, no, he's uh, he, for me. I think he's uh, the best second row in the world right now. And Etzebeth, you know, I'm a, I'm a big, big fan of Etzebeth. Half time as Mark throws, claimed by Dutoy, and now they set up. So you got right now, we've got South Africa the building the classic mall. You know what's coming. Going to have to deliver for Hendrickson, Willemse. Now the wide pass for Willy Larue. Here's Latanya Arm. Gives him the in and out. Look at the strength. Let me look at that. No, no, no. Look at the strength. This little inside outside, that little shimmy. Like it's not much. It's not much at all. But it's just enough just to get around Caleb Clark there. So like instead of. Just, if you run straight here, it's just a covering tackle. But that little in and out step has just got him outside Caleb Clark. And he's able just to like use his momentum just to spin out of it. And like Caleb Clark's own momentum has just meant that he's fallen off the tackle. Will Jordan is a bit of no man land. He, like, he thinks Caleb Clark's trying to make this tackle. He's trying to cover for 
the offload to Willie LaRue, who's coming in on the inside. So he's a little bit of a no man's hand. You can see he's doing some sort of jazz hands or some sort of variation. But um, that's it. That's enough. Breaks out of it. And it's, a, it's an excellent finish. I think he's probably the best centre in the world right now. I think, you know, he's probably one of the favourites to win um, World Player of the Year. And if I was um, a betting man, I'd probably bet on him. I think he's had a f fantastic year. You see, like right now, there's a lot. South, South Africa probably have, they've got one or two players who are there, thereabouts, top one, top two in their position. Uh, and Lucano Ham is just another one of those players. But this will go out, and all they'll have to do is win the line out, hang on to it for a minute, even less. Oh, oh he's taken too long! He's taken too long! That is massive! Now, this incident is a big, big talking point. And even now, there are a lot of people are very salty about this incident, about the time-wasting incident. Well, he told them two or three times to hurry up, and they didn't. You play, we play, OK? Then I time off, the, I time off, I switch, switch off the time. I say to, to your player, I switch on the time, and you play immediately. And he wait, he wait, he wait. So that's a scrum for the All Blacks. The referee says, don't waste, you hear him say, don't waste time before taking the penalty kick. Now, in my opinion, how often do you ever hear a referee call a free kick for delay of game at any point? You know, the ruck, penalties, you have to be consistent because if you're not calling it in the first five minutes of the game, you can't call it in the last five minutes of the game, regardless of what it means. So you've got to be consistent with it or not call it at all. I'm going to leave this up to the comment section. What do you think? Were Australia robbed here or was it the correct call? And away we go. What about that for a pass? Execution to perfection. The All Blacks lay down the challenge. And the skipper has scored! Sam Kane's in! Desperation dive! Oh, Alex Sapir! 